you excited to see her? Yeah. She seems to be doing better. Now. Now? Stephanie? Uh, there was this guy. Never mind, just don't ask how she ended up in DC. Okay. Hey guys. Margaret! Stephanie! Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> it is so cold out here. Glenn, come on. Hi guys. I can't believe it's been a year since we've seen each other. Uh, actually, it's been two, but we're here now, so. Hi, he must be Steven. I told you she would. Uh, what'd I say? It's actually pronounced Stefan. It happens all the time. <laughs> that's, that's stupid. Your name is Steven. It's Stefan. <laughs> Come on, you're messing with me. The PH makes an F sound like in phone. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Been sure my whole life. But I thought... I already forgot about it. It's so nice to meet you, Margaret. I heard a lot of great things about you. Good deal. So happy you're here. <laughs> This doll really livens up the room. Let me see. Where does she have this? She gave this to me when we were kids. Well, from the looks of it, you guys have been friends for a long time. Yeah, she's basically like my sister. That's what I got. Oh yeah, I found that nasty thing with my stuff. You can take it back. You gonna drink all this? No, we are gonna drink this. Stephanie and I used to drink this all the time. Pass this to her. I actually stopped drinking a while back. What do you mean you... You know what? It's fine. You're tired. I get it. But I know you are not going to turn down a free drink. No, Come no, on. No. You want to. Come no. on. You want to. None for me. You want Thank to. You. Come. Not at this hour. You're going to make me drink alone. Yeah. You're missing out. Hey, Margaret, is that a Dramagio? As a matter of fact, it is. Are, are you familiar with his work? I am. I love it all. Really? Except that one. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, that's his, uh, that's one of his earlier works, right? I think the guy's a genius and all, but his perspective there, it's kind of unclear, and uh, the composure's just monotonous. I know it's supposed to be abstract and everything, but the, the reflections are just totally disproportional to the buildings, and I don't know, it's just monotonous. Since becoming a professional, I've come to realize that abstract impressionism is it's the most unoriginal art form. Mm. Sore armbands. And the smog makes it look like a, like a, a third world country. Uh, well, in real life, it's gorgeous, so... Gorgeous is a strong word. So, uh, you know, definitely the cornerstone of culture. Stephanie and I are actually planning on visiting soon. Really? That's... That's fantastic. So, what are you two planning to do when you're not at the, uh, conference? Well, Steph here has the entire trip planned from tomorrow morning to the hour we leave. That's not true. I only have a few things in mind. Obviously, we're going to see every monument, and then we're going to check out all the Smithsonian's because they're free. Are there any, uh, hot spots we should check out here in D.C.? Uh, I wouldn't really know. I don't get out much. Uh. So, Stefan... Loves Chinese food, Korean. Korean food, and I know you keep tabs on the best places to eat, so I thought maybe you could show us a few while we're here. Of course, yeah, I can, I can show you a few places, but I mean, if you want, if you want real Korean food, you, you gotta go to New York. But you really don't. But, well, can you tell us a little bit about New York, Margaret? Uh, Stephanie didn't really tell me much. Hmm. It's basically the pinnacle of civilization. Is it though? Wait, did you, did you hear something? 
Yeah, no, no. I didn't hear anyone ask Stephanie either. Now, I will take you anywhere you want to go on me. That sounds good. I'm actually excited to see a few spots like the, the Lincoln Memorial, the Library of Congress, and the Vietnam. Yes, and yes, I, I hear you, Steve. But you know what would be really cool? The Statue of Liberty. That's not in DC. I know, but what, what if, just what if, we, I don't know, maybe went to New York instead this weekend? Well, is it that far? It's a three hour drive. Yeah, without traffic. Exactly. We leave at 3 a.m., the road's clear, we get to Manhattan by 6, and then it's what, like 17 to 20 hours to see the city? What time did your flight leave on Sunday? 6 a.m. Perfect, that'll work, that'll work. That'll give us time to tell Well, we already have plans. Sponsor. But you said you wanted to visit. Okay, I don't know who you think is waking up at 3 a.m., but we already have plans for Saturday. Come on, Stephanie. Do you remember how much fun we had when I took you on that ferry ride for your birthday? I remember you leaving me while you went on a ferry ride. What? No, I did not leave you. I... Wait, mm -hmm. no. I did leave her, but it's only because she decided to throw up on some kid. The dock was swaying, and I did not throw up on... No, I didn't throw up. You threw up on a kid? It was next to a kid, okay? On the baby stroller, if that's oh what it was. God. No class. Shut up. Anyway, I know sp uh, he would love to see the skyline from the Hudson River. Steph, the only thing in New York is noise and soggy pizza. There's 24 7 hour traffic, and everyone's honking their horns all the time, like that's gonna make anybody go faster. And there's homeless people on every street corner because the cost of living is ridiculous. And I don't care how many restaurants there are, they all taste exactly the same. And God forbid you say anything bad about the Yankees. There are homeless people in every city, you know. The Yankees are God's team and everyone knows that. When she's talking about the cost of living, she lives in San Francisco. can do this. It is hot in here. All right, guys. I'm not saying we are, but if we do go to New York, so we start with the World Trade Center, tallest building in America, and right next door are the Twin Tower Memorials. But why? False. It's a bit of a drab start to the day. Let's actually start with Chelsea Market, see what it's like here now, shul shoulder to shoulder with all those tourists. And then we can go to that bakery in Chinatown for breakfast. They have the best egg custard tarts. So when Dan and I would go there, he'd put down a whole dozen by himself. Come that guy. Anyway, by, by that time, the city's waking up, so I say we park the car somewhere and make use of the subway. That way it'll be easier for us to kind of get wait, around the city. And wait, why would we take the subway? Why not just Uber? Why? Because <laughs> it's literally the most efficient form of public transportation. I get it. And no offense, you know, but it's just subway, you know. Gotta be a little cautious. Listen, Stefano. The media drastically misrepresents New York and its subways. Besides, the whole city's been gentrified, so just miss the possibility of being mugged or shot. Unless we visit the Bronx, but we'll make sure to keep our distance. Wait, no. Why is she like this? Sorry, you the bells. You should not have like sisters. I don't know, Mr. Monotonous. That's just how she is. Such great literature. You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna make the executive decision to extend the trip by a day. Are we all on the same page? Yeah, whole other chapter. Margaret. Cool, cool. So we can crash at Dan, a uh, friend of mine's, uh, cause he, he lives on Wall Street and with a charging place. Okay, Margaret, just slow down. We're not going to New York. 
Because Stefan's itinerary wouldn't allow it. Yeah, we just don't have the time. Hey, hey, hey. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, Steve-O. Stefan. Doesn't matter. Imagine for a second that you were embarking on a journey that only a select few have ever experienced. Because only 20 million people have ever been to New York. I can show you a world that your California friends could never even fathom. The priceless art at the Met alone is enough to consider. I mean, I think we can make it work. I thought you said we didn't have time for anything else. It's not that far. It's not that far. What about our plans this weekend? Well, I mean, I don't think there's anything crazy going on this weekend. You know what? It's a no-go. Sorry. What? But you guys, I, I have these tickets to Larry Gagosian's opening exhibit Saturday night. Gagosian? No way. You only have two tickets? For you two, I'll, I'll find something else to do. You know, maybe catch up with some old friends, maybe see a show, wherever the night takes me. Well, I mean, where did you get these gallery tickets? Buddy of mine got them for me last minute because I know how much you both love the arts. These are from a year ago. <laughs> Th that's wrong. Let, let me see. Damn you, Kyle. Okay, but, um, but there's still the, the Guggenheim Museum. Do you mean Guggenheim? Yes, I meant to say that. Well, look, Margaret, we, we do appreciate it, but Stephanie, I think you're right. You think? We barely have time to do what you already planned. Why do you have to schedule every little thing? Why can't we just sleep in and instead of waking up at zero dark 30 and be a tourist all day? Well, wait. You, I thought we woke up early to do things. The point I, of a vacation is to relax, and you can't do that when you're doing something every five seconds. I just want to make the most out of our trip. I don't know. I just, exactly. You don't know because you don't ask. I'm just trying to get the vibe of the room here, but we can get into the Guggenheim for free between like 5.45 and 7-ish. We're not going. I'm sorry. I am not a fan of all this hostility. Are you hostility? trying to hijack our vacation? Of course not, Stephanie. I was only suggesting no, we- No, you were telling. I think it'd be different after you left New York. But you're still the same pretentious, self-centered child that never had- Child? Any I'm sorry. Which one of us dropped out of college because it wasn't for me? Tell me. How is that career you call acting coming along? Hey, she's doing just fine, okay? She was just in a national commercial. Oh, you're right. God, and, oh, what a performance it was. I mean, the back of your head was breathtaking. And I made, what, $6,000? That's more than you make in a month. It's the only time. And at least I'm not stuck subbing for a bunch of snot-nosed eight um, actually, I'm full-time, and I teach 10th graders, so try again. Those poor kids. Well, at least my job pays me bi-weekly, so I don't have to beg people for car insurance money. Yeah, Becky told me. Screw you, if you had dragged me to that stupid bar on Staten Island, I could have made my audition. Oh, because you were totally going to get cast as Katniss Everdeen over Jennifer Lawrence. Now we'll never know. You were never even good at acting. No, I would have had a better chance. You can't even whistle. Hey, man, that's enough. No wonder Stephanie never talks about you. Oh, and here I thought you had heard a lot about me. Everybody says that, okay? I don't know what happened between you two, but this is our anniversary weekend, and we want to spend it in D.C. Wow, okay. I totally thought you were playing for the other team. How long have you two been together? Six months. Six months. Fuck that noise. Dude, we've been friends since the third grade. Don't you remember when we were... She... she really like this. Anyway, I think the best Vietnamese restaurant is on 3rd Street near Washington Square. Margaret! Put your hands off your hips. We're not going. Sit down, Stefan. Stephanie, do you think we should go to Coney Island? Because I bet that guy that sold us Adderall still dead? works there. We're not going. New York again. 
sorry. I just, I just can't understand why anyone would turn down such an opportunity. Oh We're not wasting our vacation on some filthy, poverty-stricken, capitalistic, sorry excuse for a city. Okay, enough! Both of you fail to recognize the significance of New York. Had you not dropped out of college to pursue your silly dream, you would have developed a true appreciation for the city. Leaving Columbia was the best decision I ever made, so I wasn't stuck with some psychopath. Well, at least I don't share the same name with my boyfriend. It's, it's not, not the same. same. And at least I've had a boyfriend in the last two years. No one understands. I have been through 164 Tinder dates, and when they all inevitably disappoint me, I can always count on my Ivy League education in the city of New York. Sure, I may not have an abundance of friends, but when you have an unprecedented admiration for the greatest city on earth, there is no need for friends or relationships because when they fade away, and they will, New York will always be there. Are you done? If you love New York so much, why did you leave? What? That is a great question. Can you tell us why you are living in D.C.? Well, it's too expensive to live in New York, or D.C. for that matter, and technically I live in Maryland. I just thought that we could have one more day together. I'm going like, to stop you right there. She followed her ex-boyfriend. Boyfriend, we never officially broke up. Followed her ex-boyfriend all the way from New York. Didn't even tell him. It was supposed to be a surprise. Went out, surprise. got a lease, come to find out, change of plans. He now lives in Boston. Did all of this after he explicitly said we should see other people. That was only because we were going to be apart, but we weren't going to be apart because we were going to be together because uh, I moved here with no, him. No, we've already established that you're a stalker. The real question is, why do you want to go to New York this weekend? Well, for your information, Dan reached out to me. He recently got a job on Wall Street, and he still thinks I live in New York. Got us tickets for the Book of Mormon on Saturday, and so I really kind of need to be there. And you wanted us to take you there? You know, I don't have a car. Why don't you just take the train? It's the most efficient way of transportation. Not the same, Steve. Can't take the train because, kind of, sort of, found myself this thing called the no ride list um it's funny it's it's a funny story actually i uh was on my way to the sorority reunion and uh as it turns out the drug dogs can't smell edibles this so ridiculous. you are insane not insane narcissistic she never reached out to you you know what your negativity is really affecting my aura right now so maybe you two should find somewhere else to rest your heads for the night. What? what? Get the fuck out of my house. Are you serious? What's going on, man? Maybe you should have thought twice before disrespecting me in my own home. Now. When the two of you have dropped the egos, let me know what you want to do on our trip to New York. Oh, we're definitely not going to New York now.